Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. About to start a new job over here on this little pond. We are going to put a siphon from that side over the dam to that side. Get it drained down a little bit. And then we're going to work our way down this side of the pond all the way to over there and we're gonna dredge out some of the sediment that's filled it in. We've got all of our fittings and various things. We're gonna get this thing put together and show you guys how it works. Alrighty, I've got it set up. It is gushing out some water. It's definitely slowed down this overflow. We'll come back tomorrow and see if it worked. Good morning. It's Thursday morning, about 5.20. And this thing is doing its job. We've got the water down. You can see our little measuring device over here. It's rudimentary. But that top three inch screw is where the water started yesterday. So I'd say we've got it down a good 12 to 14 inches. Yeah, you know, this is the spillway. It's dry now. All right, now that you guys can actually see it with some daylight, you can see that what looked like a very large deep pond is actually only a few feet deep. When you drain it down a foot, it shrinks considerably. I've started stacking up some of the junk over here. We'll just reestablish this shoreline. Right now you can see it sticks way out. We're going to bring it back in so that it's deep right up to the bank. And then we're going to work our way around. All the way around. Got the siphon running. I'll take you down here just so that you can get an idea how much this thing pumps out. That's coming out very quickly. We gotta rebuild this spillway and add some clay to this dam, try to reseal it. Got a good bit of work to do here. I'll be here for a couple of weeks.
It needs to go that way a couple feet. I'm too close to it. Well, the siphon's been running all day. I've been dredging the edge of the pond all day. As you can see, I got way over there. But some of that stuff is gonna have to dry out before I can move it, it is just slop. You can see this is dried up over here considerably. This is the spillway, so this is the water level, normally. Get back out here tomorrow and keep on hauling off muck. some mud mats this morning got five of these big slabs should work for this little machine hopefully I'm going out there today we'll see how it all goes just got to be careful I got a little bit more muck to haul I'll check back in later all right I've calmed down enough to take a video As you can tell, most of the videos have been shot from over there. I am on the sandbar. Got as far out here as I can. It turned into... 
I think at least seven or eight feet deep from the top of that muck to the rock at the bottom of the pond over there across where I've started digging. I walked my way in across this on these mats. You can see them down here. And some oak slabs that I cut out of a tree out of Dad's front yard. I'll keep showing you guys the progress along the way. This bar is going to have to stay. I can't float on it. It's just too soppy. But it should settle out into the rest of these holes. I'm going to keep digging and get off of this so that I can relax. I'll check in a bit. Let's Dig 18, because 
He's the one who taught me how to do this. Never met the guy. But this is how he dredges. I really should thank him for the siphon method too. So, thanks man. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself because of your videos and I can make some money for my family. And if you ever see it, I think you'll probably enjoy a miniature scale version of your system. scoop but there was a rock and that is a very good thing because even if there's a lot of water 18 inches 24 inches I can pull this machine out of it as long as there's rock
I didn't uh, get any video of me walking out here. But it was time to 100% focus. It is 2.25 in the afternoon. I'm gonna stay until there's nothing else for me to dredge or it's dark, whichever comes first. All right, see you guys a little bit later. I'll probably, uh, I'll get another video here in a minute because this is pretty sweet. Let me get another 30 feet and then I'll show you. All right, this should be pretty neat. I'm gonna go ahead and redirect this creek. got it out got a lot done today it looks nasty but that's the way that this works here in a few months this will be absolutely beautiful we're gonna go all the way into the corner see you guys tomorrow morning